What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. And in today's video, we have 10 of the best budget interfaces around $100. Some are a little more, some are a little less. I definitely got to send a special shout out to the sponsor of today's video. That is Zounds. You can get any of these interfaces over at Zounds today. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see, but let's go ahead and get right into these interfaces. Some, some, some hit the key. All right, guys. So I've had these interfaces for about two months now. I've been using them every single day. I've been using them for everything from recording audio, recording vocals, making beats, listening, mixing, all that good stuff. Um, what I wanna do in this video is a little bit different than the typical roundup videos for budget headphones or budget interfaces and stuff like that. I don't wanna necessarily do a walkthrough of each one of the interfaces. I wanna focus more on what's the best interface for you, meaning what's the best interface maybe for a guitar player, what's the best interface for a vocalist, what's the best interface for a producer or somebody with outboard gear. That's kind of what I wanna focus on in this video today. So with these interfaces, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys, I'm not even gonna hold you guys. All these interfaces are basically gonna sound the same. So the preamps in these are all pretty good and they all sound really, really similar when you're recording into them. So the biggest difference in these interfaces isn't necessarily going to be the sound. It's gonna be the features, it's gonna be the in and out, it's gonna be all of the different software that comes equipped with the different interfaces and all that good stuff. So do you even really need an interface is a question a lot of you guys may ask yourself. And the answer is yes and no. Some people may need an interface and some may not. So if you just leisurely make beats, you might not need an interface. You know, sound cards nowadays are pretty good. You can get a pretty good feel of your mix with a sound card. But if you're looking to hear more detail in your mixes and stuff like that, then you're probably gonna need an interface. If you're looking to take any kind of outside audio and put it into your computer, you're probably gonna need an interface. So if you play a guitar, you're gonna need an interface in order to take the sound from your guitar into the computer. If you play like keyboards and synthesizers and stuff like that, you're probably going to need an interface to get the sound out of your synthesizer or your keyboard and put it into your computer. If you are recording vocals, obviously you're gonna need something to plug your mic into to get your vocal sounds in. So in this video, I am gonna do a sound comparison at the end, but the sound comparison is only gonna be vocals and you're gonna be able to see how similar that all these interfaces actually do sound. Um, so what I wanna do is I want to start with the first category. So the first category that I wanna talk about today is recording vocals. So if you are only recording vocals and you don't need anything else, no other ins and outs, you're not playing guitar while you're singing at the same time, if you're a singular vocalist at your own house, the interface that I would recommend first would be the UA Volt 1. The UA Volt 1 is currently on sale at Zounds right now for $139. And the good thing about all these interfaces is that you can get them all at Zounds with no credit check. So if you don't have the money to get them all right now, you can apply to get financing and there's no credit check on any of these interfaces. The UA Volt 1 comes with one in. It's a combo XLR quarter inch jack. It also comes with two outs, and then it's gonna come with the MIDI in and a MIDI out, which is pretty rare for an interface at this price point. What really sets this interface apart for me though, is that it has this vintage mode. The vintage mode gives you the sound of a Universal Audio 610 2 preamp, which is pretty nice. Um, I actually own a UA Volt 476 and I absolutely love that interface. I use it for all the recording that I do on my PC. Um, and I also have a UA Apollo Twin, so I might be a little biased here, but I really do think that this is the best interface for just recording vocals if you're only a vocalist. It also comes with a bunch of different software. So the software with these interfaces is really what's going to set the interfaces apart. So with this UA Volt, you're gonna get a bunch of different software. You're gonna get a Marshall Plexi Classic Amp Bundle by SoftTube. You're gonna get Ableton Live Lite 11. You're gonna get Melodyne Essentials. 
Um, you're going to get Ampeg, um, this base bundle. You're going to get LX480 Essentials by Relab. It is a very solid reverb unit. You're going to get Virtual Drummer Deep by UJAM. And you're also going to get Virtual Bassist Dandy by UJAM. Again, if I had any interface to pick and I could only pick one, this would be the one that I would pick for vocals. So next up, if I had to pick an interface just for production, or if I had to pick an interface that I was going to use for like hooking up different synths or stuff with MIDI connections and stuff like that, the interface that I would choose hands down would be the PreSonus AudioBox 96. And this, this interface definitely surprised me. It wasn't even really on my radar, but it is right here now. So with the PreSonus AudioBox 96, it is the only interface on this whole entire lineup that has MIDI in, MIDI out, and it has two ends. And that's very important if you are using a synth and you don't want your synth to be mono or if you're using any kind of instrument or anything that takes two ends, um, it's definitely clutch for that. Um, also, this right now is $99 over at Zounds. Again, no credit check, so you can get it for four months, $25. That's not bad if you are looking for an interface. I will definitely leave the link to all this stuff below. Um, with this one as well, it comes with an absolute great suite of plugins. That's what's also nice about this one right here. So with the PreSonus, you're gonna get this Studio Magic Bundle. You're going to be able to get Studio One Artist Edition. So that's nice, you're gonna be able to get a DAW. It's going to come with Analog Lab Intro, which is nice because then you can eventually upgrade to Analog Labs when it's gonna go on sale. You'll get the cross grade price and that'll be, that'll be nice. Like the reason I bring up a lot of these plugins and stuff like that too is because Sometimes you sleep on the plugins that come with these bundles and these plugins are just, they, they, they'll definitely get the job done. So you're also gonna get this Brainworks compressor, not bad. You're gonna get this Brainworks rock rack. Um, so it's gonna be just basically a few different racks, 40 different in, impulse responses, um, you know, some good timbres for your guitar rig. Um, you're gonna get Cherio Audio Surrealistic MG1. Um, you're gonna get Voltage by Cherry Audio. You're gonna get Ghost Hack Essentials, which is gonna be just a bunch of different sounds, loops, one shots, MIDI files. That's, you know, a nice little touch too. You don't normally get drum kits and stuff with that. You're gonna get Isotope Neutron Elements. So if you don't have that, that's good for mixing. It's a good mixing suite. I can't pronounce this, um, but it's a good saturation processor. I have checked out all these plugins as well. So I've actually done the due diligence of actually checking out the plugins along with checking out the interfaces for you guys as well. You're gonna get Synth Master Player. This typically costs $29.99. Um, you're gonna get this Lexicon Reverb. Um, you're gonna get this EQ right here. You're gonna get Melodics. So you're gonna get Melodics so you can work on your keyboard playing skills and all that stuff as well. That's nice. You're gonna get Replica from Native Instruments. You're gonna get Output Movement. This plugin alone is like $125. And so the interface is 99 bucks. Like they say, you're gonna get over a thousand dollars worth of stuff, and you're gonna get a lot of stuff with this PreSonus with this PreSonus interface. Um, you're gonna get Sound Snap, so there's over three hundred and eighty thousand different effects. Um, SPL Attacker Plus. I mean, you just get a lot. UJam Virtual Bassist, UVI Model D. This is a solid piano. I've had this for a while. Um, I got it with my Atoria Key Lab. So, um, when it comes to interfaces, to tell you the truth. Out of all these interfaces, I think the best overall deal for an interface is this audio box because you get so much, you get the two ends and both the two ends are gonna be combo XLR, quarter inch jack, so you don't have to worry about that. You get two outs, you get MIDI in, you get MIDI out, and then you just get a ton of different stuff. And the interface that I would choose if I was just starting off playing guitar, if I was only playing guitar, if I wasn't recording vocals or anything like that, I would choose the Mini Fuse from Arturia. The Mini Fuse is only $99 currently. Um, this interface comes with a lot of good stuff too. Um, the reason that I would choose this interface is because of the software that comes with it. And the main piece of that software is this Native Instruments Guitar Rig 6LE. I know that there's gonna be some guitar players out there right now that are going to kill me in the comment section, but if you're just starting out, you probably don't have an amp. You probably don't have all the stuff that you need to play your electric guitar. So you can get this interface and you're gonna get Native Instruments Guitar Rig 6. 
and that's going to give you all the effects and all the stuff that you need to get going and to keep you motivated while you're playing and that's why i say that that's the big part it's going to get you some of the sounds and some of the stuff that you want and that's huge and then you'll be able to cross grade later on into native instruments guitar rig 6 pro if you want to so this also comes with ableton live light it's going to come with analog lab intro it's going to come with some Arturia effects. It's going to come with some good effects like this Juno 6 chorus is fire. Um, it's going to come with it's a preamp, a 1073 preamp. It's going to come with the reverb and it's going to come with the tape echo for you. Um, you're going to get three months of auto tune unlimited. You're going to get three months of splice. Um, so that's not a bad deal at all. And all this stuff will be able to cross grade in the future. So now let's go ahead and talk about some honorable mentions. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, in second place, basically in every category, I would probably put the focus right because the focus right is tried and true. It's been around for a long time. We all know the focus right is a solid interface. Um, it's good on vocals, it's got that air feature, it's good on guitars, it's got a whole bunch of different software that comes with it. They give you new software every few months as well. Um, you know, and it's gonna sound good on, you know, production because, you know, it's a focus, right? It's a good, good preamp. I also wanna shout out the M Audio Air. Um, that's also a good interface as well, the 192.4. Um, it sounds good, um, you know, it can do everything that you need. It's got two ins, it's got two outs. It's a pretty solid interface. So, all right, guys. So what I wanna do next is I wanna let you guys hear some of the vocal recordings that I've taken with all these interfaces right here. Um, I recorded all of the vocals with this Rode NT1 right here because I figured it was more of a budget-friendly mic. I didn't want to use my Neumann because I figured that wouldn't be what the typical person with these interfaces would be using. I also want to add that I use Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pros um, to do all the tracking for the vocals. Um, so these are 80 ohm and they had no problem with any of the interfaces. Um, I've also used these headphones. These are the 900 Pro Xs. I've used these all the time. Um, I've also used um, these Audio Technica M30s and I've used other headphones as well just to see what all the interfaces do sound like. Um, so let's go ahead and hop on over into Ableton. I already know some people are gonna kill me for this one. Um, but what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna push play and I'm gonna go through each one of the takes with each one of the interfaces and then I'll pop the interface up, a little B-roll or something like that so you know which interface is going. Yeah. Had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water when fishing. Yeah, had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water when fishing. Yeah, had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water when fishing. Yeah, had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water when fishing. Yeah. Had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water, went fishing. Yeah, had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water, went fishing. Yeah. Had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water, went fishing. Yeah, had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water, went fishing. Yeah. Had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water, went fishing. Yeah, had to stop looking, listen, had a game plan, but mommy on a mission. Told me shoot my shot so you know I ain't missing. So I threw a line in the water, went fishing. So as you guys can see there, most of the interfaces really do sound very similar in sound. The difference is very minute except for the Shure interface sounded a little muffled for some odd reason. I don't know why. I've seen other videos where it sounds crystal clear. So maybe it was user error. We can chop it up to that. I'm okay with that. 
Um, but I do want to say that there is no effects on any of these vocals. There's no EQ. There's no compression. I'm not going to add any volume. I'm not going to do any volume matching. There's no gate. There's no DSing. There is absolutely no effects on any of those vocals. That is how they sound. So um, hopefully I could help you guys find the interface that you are looking for. There's definitely some good options here. You just have to definitely keep in mind your ins, your outs. Do you need MIDI? Do you need combo jacks? What kind of software do you need? And do you need to finance it from Zounds? So uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. All right, guys and gals, thanks for watching the video. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and like button. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell so every time a new video comes out, you can be the first to know. Uh, let me know what tutorials you want to see next in the comments, and see you next time. Some, 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 hit the key.